But we're back. More Ace Attorney. Look at that. Listen to that beautiful music. Doesn't that doesn't that doesn't that get you going? Let me uh this turn is a little bit of a loud game, so let me put it down by like two. Alright. Had to run, use the bathroom, get more water so I can use the bathroom again. But we're back with more Ace Attorney. The Ace Attorney trilogy. Justice for all. Let's get into it. So! Should add Von Karma and Pearl. E oh, yeah, Pearl 2. Damn. It depends. It's the, I mean, I have I have very, very little space to work with on that side, but if I can get, if I can fit five people in there, I can fit five people in there. I can do it. I did it with, um, I did it with Corpse Party and Kingdom Hearts, so I can do it. Should add the whole cast. Oh, that's not happening. Unless you want them to be, like, tiny, then it's going to look ugly. <laughs> it has to have a, has to have a view. <laughs> That's something that I'll I'll do if I ever stream Pokemon. I will definitely fucking um put all the team like all the team members on the side. Um but yeah. Where we last left off, well first of all, here we are with this shit. June twenty second, nine fifty one AM. District Court Defendant Lobby number three. Oh you little murderer. I'm so proud of you. Um Nick? Yeah. Did you know what Von Karma's daughter is also 18, just like me? She has a daughter? Come on, man. She's already spoken for? God damn it. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Wait, did I read that wrong? Is she saying that she's 18, or did she say that she has a daughter that's 18? I don't think Von Karma's 18. There's no way Von Karma's 18. She's like 30 at least. Maybe 28 at least. Francesca's 18. Von Karma is fucking 18? Really? Oh my god. Damn. She's a pretty mature looking ass 18. Holy shit. I mean, she's been in Germany all the time. But oh yeah, Maya, Maya just says she's 18 now too. Oh yeah, a year has passed. Damn. Okay. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Your second murder trial. Hmm. But I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all of you got for all you gone through. Good morning. Hey Pearl, how's it hanging? The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm so happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Oh, she's coming here because she's a suspect. Get the fuck out of here. She's not coming here to Von Karma, man. Okay, so the father's 50 or 60. I can believe that. I just didn't know that Francesca is 18. I thought she was older than that. She looks older than that. She looks like she'd be like two years older than, uh, at least two years older than, than Wright. How old is Wright at this point? Is he 28? 29? What is she? Yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Maya today, too? I mean, Mia, not Maya. <laughs> huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly! Not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Mm, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later. I mean, if you don't do it, Pearls, I'll tell the whole village that you desecrated the fucking ashes of your great-great-great-great-grandmother. But I mean, the choice is yours, Pearl. Either you do it or you don't. <laughs> See you later, then. I'll leave you two in two. I'll leave you two all alone. God damn it. Phew. Thank goodness. Hey, Maya, where'd she get the idea about this lovey-dovey shit? Nick? 
This way, Pearl... Wait, this way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Oh, yeah, her mom's super going on fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. She's definitely going on the stand. June 22nd, 10 a.m., District Court Room Number 2. Alright, calm down, Judge. First things first, let's review this evidence. We have the newspaper clipping, one year ago. On May 2nd, 14 patients died. I gotta let it all come back to me. I gotta let it all come back to me. Now, I do have a guide on the side, just in case I end up getting stuck so we don't sit here for a fucking hour on one goddamn statement. But, hopefully I won't have to use it. Now that I said that, I'm definitely gonna probably use it. Alright, articles about the car incident. And we used that already. The black key that has the stupid fucking... Uh, wording on it that doesn't help me whatsoever. Diagram. Uh, the autopsy report. The moita weapon. The moita weapon. The moiter is closed. Alright, Lotta's photos. Grandma's desecrated ashes. The fucked up clothing. A samurai ball. The box where the Mordor probably hid themselves. And this super imposter here. Super, I'm calling it, man. I'm calling it, man. That's not, that's not eeny meeny. That's me, me, that's me, me, meeny. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna kill myself saying their goddamn names. Oh, also, we have the people. I forgot. People. They're important in the case, too. And this guy. I really, I hope he doesn't come to the stand. I don't want to deal with his bullshit. All right. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. As is the- okay, never mind. I thought, for some reason, I thought she was gonna say it like, uh, like Edgeworth, where he's like, I'm ready also. She's like, nah, let's just do it. Let's get ready. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeat- of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Yeah, but people still call me a fucking rookie. It's been a year. Come on, guys. I had some of the big cases you've ever seen in your goddamn life. Don't be foolish, you fool. Fools... Fool... Wait, what? Don't be foolish, you fool. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. I mean, I haven't lost a case either. But, I mean, you've done it for five years, I've done it for one. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me, and I conduct my first trial in this as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh, that's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. How you sit there, how do you talk to a goddamn ghost all, like, snidey and shit? Wouldn't you be scared that they haunt the shit out of you? I would. I'd be like, man, I'll, with all respect and everything, defeated, defeated her father and they still call me a rookie, yeah. Like, come on, man. I also say, I also defeated the chief of police. Come on, that's a big thing. Uh, it's true that they say women really are scary when they fight. Yeah, that's true. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. W what? I don't think I inferred that. Did I? But, Miss Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? Didn't we go over this before? I never said that it wasn't the defendant. I mean, so, in mind and spirit, she left, but physically she's still there. I mean, if we're, if we're fucking, wait, if that's the, if that's the tree she's barking up, then wouldn't we just plea for... For a fucking insanity case or something? I mean, it would suck, but... Well, it wouldn't be an insanity case. But that'll be the only plea they can 
really do. Because there's no plea for fucking a ghost possessed my ass, right? Then what's the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. After killing the victim? What? I mean, that's... That's not true, because she didn't kill it, kill them, but she did exit the room after the murder. And I believe that this is when she dropped this key. Can you substanti uh, substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant Aunt Morgan Fay to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She's, she's really torn by this. There you go, sipping your tea, bitch. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spiritual medium in the manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? By manner of speaking, it means fucking, uh, she doesn't channel any spirits. She's just a housemaid. Ugh. I don't think anyone really cares. I care. It's important. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes. That is correct. I performed the spirit se severing technique on Mystic Maya, then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. Why does this sound like fucking Dragon Ball? <laughs> oh my god. The fusion technique! That's it. Yes, that is. Huh! You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. Wh what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? We were all standing outside. What? Actually, we weren't standing outside. Me and Lotta fucking went outside. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Faye, while in possessive, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the cha from the challenge. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're doing it from the channeling chamber. The alliteration is fucking killing me here. Order, order, I say. Miss Faye, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I'll try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial, both literally, lit literally, well, both literally. And metaphorically. Alright. After we heard the gunshots, those who broke the door opened and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. She karate- KARATE CHOP ACTION! I'm afraid I have- She karate chopped her in the back of the neck. Wow. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after. Okay. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya, so... You decided to put it out here... In the court? However, I must correct fa uh, falsities... Falsities? That's how you pronounce that? I'm pretty sure. When they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a... F a fault Falsity. Why? That's not the word. Fallacy. Fallacy. That's the word. Thank you. Jesus. My mind. Oh, a fallacy, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. I mean, she is on TV, right? Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. She used those steel samurai moves. <laughs> Slipped out. All right. So... Press everything. Just now, you said those two. Who are the two people you were referring to? I was referring to the foreign lady and yourself, good sir. 
um, Lada's not a foreigner. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought she was just from, like, Okinawa or something like that, the countryside. Despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I said Okinawa. My bad. This doesn't take place in Japan. I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocities. Her atroc- her atro- uh, atrocious English. Not to mention she looked awful. How dare you? Lada's super cute. How dare you? We don't already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. In any case, I have already spent I already spent the repair bill to I sent the repair bill to your office. I got no money, man. Come on. Oh, thanks. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. This is a very good point. Didn't... I'm sorry, my, like, again, it's been like two weeks, but didn't she lock the fucking room when she said she was doing the separate technique? Didn't she say, hey, you two go out, call the police, I'm gonna be locked up in here and do the technique. <laughs> Japanifornia means that Tokyo and California. Like, like LA and Japan. I mean, it's like Big Hero 6, right? San Francisco. Hmm, <laughs> yes. This is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. I need to- nothing you need to concern yourself. Don't say that while you're fucking testifying. Yeah, question further. What the hell you mean another? There was another reason you wanted both of us out of the room, wasn't there? Answer the question. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of that room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. You bitch. The lives of both the good, eh, the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger. Is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. Don't believe her lies. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her, and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. She said, Wake up! Wake up, little nigga, she caught you sleeping. <laughs> Wake up, bitch. Alright. <laughs> That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. That was a flimsy-ass statement. Of course it was. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. Oh, you're so full of it. I hate you. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was misinformed of what had occurred. That, that the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she? <sighs> this witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know, what this, what this unexpected thing was, there's always later. Yes, very well. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then, quite suddenly, she thrust it away from me. Uh, she thrust it away from her, herself and escaped. Ugh, whatever the hell, I read that wrong. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit it, to, uh, admit to such thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. And not at that moment. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Yeah, I know. She's gonna talk about the fucking technique. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix, right? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically in my effect. Ah, shit. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, 
However, what? With the great strength of it. Whatever, man. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed. She hit me with a critical hit and I fainted. I lost my nuzlocke. How long were you unconscious? Un unconscious. I'm not sure. About 10 minutes, perhaps? Okay, that's Cap. Come on, that's super Cap. She's like, I'm not sure. I was electrical. I'm like, alright. You're full of shit. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy, witness, elaborate on the point for us. Okay. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further. So, while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious. Obvi uh, ob obvious? Yeah, obvious, good sir. Don't know why I started on that word. That's true. Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Caught ya! It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key... The key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is all ready to move on her next witness. Okay. That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fey did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the ass. Now let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling, channeling chamber? Ah, uh, yes. That is bit- oh shit. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escape had done- what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny? My Nemo. <laughs> I think you can see where this is headed. Oh man, it's double trouble. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay. So, my name is, like, Amy Meany. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at, the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany. After the murderer took place, after the murder, after the murder, the murderer, after the murder took place, he spoke with the defendant, Maya Fey. Is this correct? Um, well, um, like, I guess? If that's the case, then let's see you testify. That's all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. Jesus, this guy. <laughs> All right, testify, Eeny Meeny. Like, when the channeling started, I was like, sleeping in the side room? Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, I was like, oh my god. Totally my sister. I like, hadn't seen her in like, so long. I was so happy in like, a sad way. My sister? She, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold on, hold your horses. Hold up. Simmer down, y'all. You're saying this person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, Your Honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit- Wait, what? The spirit was the spirit of this witness sister? Yes. Mimi Mimi. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is, uh, witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what the terrible thing was? 
<laughs> a riveting testimony. <laughs> I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally really have to? Of course. Miss Meanie, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eni? Damn, Eni. You want some shit, girl. I gotta take a drink of my water already. She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Y yeah. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far to use a medium to get revenge. This is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. Damn, I love her. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think I'm in love, that's what I think. It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now, what is, was it all made up? Was it just a huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? Phoenix, I'm from the dead, man. I know it's a lie. Trust me, I know everything. <laughs> it's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lie can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find the one loose thread and unwind this testimony of lies. Your Honor. There is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll find this one more in wait what? I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Wait, what? I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Is that how English works? English sucks. I hate the language. English is the worst language. Alright. Like when the channel started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later, someone came into the room like really suddenly. Okay, well first I'm gonna start pressing all that shit. Was that because of your um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I like think there were sesame seeds like in the lunch they served that day? I had like a premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyways, so you we were talking- you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Okay, press that one as well. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m. Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Hmm. Ah, oh, no. I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time is it now. I meant the time... What time was it when someone came into your room? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Are you stalling? You're just stalling. That's it. Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? N never mind. Witness? About this person who entered the side room. What do you mean, never mind? You don't do that when you're cross-examining? How dare you? He's like, never mind. It was. I was like, oh my gosh. It's totally my sister. Hold it! Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You guess. 
Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know y your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name's not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm, but more than that, she managed to mess up the question with her own answer. Wait, what? <laughs> she managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The, the defendant rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how do you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Mini? I like had seen her in a while, so I was sad. I was happy in a sad way. You were happy in a sad way. Was it because you murdered somebody? You got your revenge and you were happy it was dead, but you were sad because you killed? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing the dead loved ones alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I wasn't like someone who didn't know about, like, the occult? But I like know all about the curing challenging technique. What the hell is my dog doing? Okay, everybody. He's like, he's like digging through the, through the shirt I gave him so he can sleep on it. <laughs> the point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Question further. Always question further. You know, except for that one time in the first game where they told me, nah, leave it be. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange? But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection? Could you, you, you fucking, could you try using that once in a while? Mm, Mr. Wright? This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Oh no, it's very important. It's very important, although I haven't quite figured it out to figure out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Meanie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. Gotta be cool. <laughs> Had to sleep with a friend's big ass dog and took off at the bed. <laughs> I believe it. I have a. Uh, I used to have big dogs. Right now I have uh, smaller dogs. But when I was, I had to watch my brother's dog over like Thanksgiving week. And I'm used to taking care of pit bulls. But she's like, she's like a big fat pit bull. She's a fat one. She's like stocky. And she's used to sleeping on a bed. So she just, you know fucking flopped all over. Let's see. I wasn't, like, scared at all. Costume looked totally, like, normal. What the hell do you mean her costume? Wait, what? Hold up. How many did you... How much did you go? I was like, oh my god, it's totally my sister. Okay. I wasn't scared at all and, like, her costume looked totally normal. What the hell do you mean? So, there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah. Nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Hmm. Mia's talking to herself like she found something wrong. That's possible. Hmm? Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? How is that normal garb for your sister if she's wearing a fucking priestess outfit? Okay. My sister, she told me, uh... She told me something terrible. What the hell? What are you doing, buddy? You okay over there? My dog is, my dog is trying his best. He's trying his best. Alright. Something terrible, uh, something terrible, what was the thing she told you? Uh, like, didn't I just tell you about it? Did you forget already? A foolish fool with the foolish snive of, of shivel, shiv, shniv? What about how that word is? For a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. That's that's copyrighted. You can't do that. Don't bother asking. Ax it to her again. I'll ax it again. Why not? Actually, I really shouldn't ax it, but I'll ax it again. 
just in case anything happens. I'm sorry, but I can hear the story one more time. Like, sure, no problem. I'll even tell you spooky, <laughs> this all spooky like. <laughs> I'll even tell it all spooky like. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing different here. I think I might be able to use the photo with her saying she looked normal, because I'm pretty sure someone covered in blood isn't normal. Alright. How do I, uh... There's a skip button for this shit, right? Oh, it, it won't even let me... It won't even let me skip it. I gotta watch it. It's only fair, isn't it? Isn't it fair, Eni? Like, how was that? It was fine. It was a little scary. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe I, like, put too much spookiness into it. I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. I mean, she did. Don't give up. But I don't- but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks, uh, I forgot her name for a moment, Mia. Alright, so first, as always, save before we do anything, because this game hates me. Alright, now, she said that her sister looked super normal, and she wasn't scared, which is like, come on, man, she's covered in blood. Like, wouldn't it be, uh, just, wouldn't it be, no, not that photo. Wouldn't it be this photo? Like, she's carrying a gun and shit. Yeah, hey, there you go. That was a very well spun lie, Miss Eni. Huh? What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lies now, are we, Phoenix? Hey, you're dead. You don't use them no more. You forfeit that right. Miss Meanie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would, I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray? Miss Meanie. Why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noticed it right off the bat. Caught you in your lie, bitch. Order, Miss Meanie. What is the meaning of this? Miss Meanie? I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me. Um, that- Ah! And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, well, I, uh... That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I like to end mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. Early said, hold on, I'm making... <laughs> he really said, hold on, I'm making another lie. <laughs> if you please. The judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of helps. A lot of helps. He's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna need a lot of help. Damn. All right. New testimony. Part two. Second verse. Same as the first. Like the side room was like kind of dark, you know. In the middle of the day. <laughs> what? So like the costume is the purple. Uh, costume's like purple, right? The blood totally blend right in. I think. Yes, because the blood blended into the white part of the costume. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. <laughs> and then, like, I told <laughs> Wait, so she said, she said, I couldn't see the blood, but I did see the blood. And I was like, it's okay, you shouldn't kill people. And she was like, alright, dog, peace and love. And she peaced out. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous, come on. Ah, oh, yes, now I see. And you haven't given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No. <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Very well. 
You may question the witness. <laughs> See guys, I'm not suspicious. I just saw a murderer and I still didn't freak out after realizing that she's covered in blood and knew that she killed. I still didn't freak out and I said, come on, let's take you back to your mama. Did anybody lose a little girl? Like, come on. All right, it's dark. How was it dark? It was daylight, bitch. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Meanie's? You're such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Trite? Like, okay. Uh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. Costume's like purple. It's totally blended in. Because red blends into purple, I guess. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. No, she dropped it, I think. Did she? Oh, that- Oh, no, no. She definitely had the gun with her because fucking Lada took a picture of her and she still had the gun. That's, um... Are you gonna tell me next what you didn't notice? The gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. You, you guys are really gonna let that slip. Oh, my God. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't okay to kill people. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi, like at that time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me, too. Like, apologize to Mr. Morgan? I mean, Miss Morgan? <laughs> Did Mimi spill it? Spill it? <laughs> spill it? Did I say that? Jesus. Did Mimi Spirit really say all that about you? I mean, to you? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Then I took my sister to the channeling chamber. I just walked down the road with a murderer. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe. Like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner the better. Ugh. <laughs> Why? Are you coming on to me, Von Karma? She says, with her whip at the ready. <laughs> and like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Meanie? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh, like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know, maybe a basket or a chest or, you know, when you were in the side room. Like, you see anything there? I'm talking about when you were in the side room, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. Hmm. What should I do? Press harder. You sure? You sure about that? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Just give up already, Mr. Wright. I wonder if I put too much faith in Amy's ability to do anything with that brain. It's not good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find something uh, short of... Wow, if you don't find some sort of hinge in your statement, he'll end the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Yeah, I know. God, I got gotcha. you. Okay? Now that I listened, right? Now that I've listened and been threatened, we got we got some things. Okay, so that statement's not gonna work, it seems. I don't think that will work either. That's why your sister wasn't right to do something like that. And then I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Okay. Blood totally blend right in. Okay, but didn't. I guess it would be after. I guess it would be after she took her back to the channeling chamber, you know, in her lie, that then, uh, what's her face, could have changed the outfit. So. 
And we're already we're we're already going down the road that the outfit wasn't changed. Uh, I thought I can catch her with this, but it seems like that might not work. When did she have both a knife and a gun? Whatever. Uh. What? Persuaded my sister wasn't right. You took her back to the challenge. So we're assuming that she had the key. I guess maybe. Um. Where's the where's the um? That's the diagram of the diagram of the manor. Meditation room, winning way, side room. Okay. So we wouldn't have seen her walk back, I guess. Okay. One year ago, articles about the car accident. God, here we go with this bullshit. Bear's Maya's and Gray's fingerprints. Belongs to Maya. Broken by Pearl right before the murder. I mean, we can use this. Like, hey, did you see Pearl in that time? But I don't think that would work. Alright. Because if they said they walked back, then Pearl should have been there in the winding way, desecrating her grandma's ashes. I mean, can I, you know, can I actually, like, let me see. Took my sister back to the challenge chamber. Can I just, like, do that? No. Okay. So that wouldn't work. Gotcha. Alright, leave me alone, fucking Mr. Judge. Says she didn't notice the gun. Side so room was kind of dark. Damn it! Let me see. I feel like the black key might come in handy at some point. At some point here, but you know, if we were to assume that she had the key with her. Broken by Pearl, right before the murder. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do this. I went down the wrong line of questioning, I think. Took my sister to the Chandler Chamber. Was it... Was it this one? Because I can ask her, like, what does she see in the winding way? Actually, one more thing. Yes. Was there anything unusual? Something out of place? Yeah. When you were going to the crime scene. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Hmm. Like, no, nothing strange. She's answered rather quickly. Now what? Press harder. Because you have someone trying to burn the clothes in the incinerator, and then you also have the broken vase. Think harder. I know you can remember something. Especially, especially if she's studying the fucking uh, ancestry and shit of this place. She would notice that, holy shit, grandma's sacred great fucking ashes are spewed all over the ground. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber? Yes, it is very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Meany, if you will please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get it, but okay. Making progress. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Then would I use Pearl in that situation? Yeah, I can just do that. That'll be fine. Let me just let me just press that. Let me just press that. Try to remember that time. Oh, like I remember. I remember like I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Hmm. 
I guess this really is dead end here. No, it's not. Get your head out your ass. Give it another shot. Yeah, I know. I got it. I got it, Mia. Calm down. I got this. I know what I'm doing. You can't stop me. I got it right in my trap. She activated my trap card. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to go past that. My bad. Damn it. Persuaded your sister, blah blah blah. Then I took my sister to the challenge chamber. I don't didn't see anyone on the way there. Well she says anyone, so I assume using grandma's desecrated ashes wouldn't work. But would using grandma and herself work? Or would using Pearl would work? One of those two. I'll use grandma. I'll use grandma, just to be safe. The Yu-Gi-Oh reference? I mean yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's great. I'll use grandma. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, okay. I, all right, all right, judge. All right, judge. Calm down, calm down. You know, just because I took damage, I don't like taking damage groups. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You see? It's beautiful. All right. Then I'll use Pearl. Okay, so I was doing it the right way. I just need to press one more time. I was going, I was going towards the right way. I got this. You said that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan's Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting. You have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just happened so that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the central in the center garden. The garden. Yep. Which means anyone walking through the area would have would would have seen her. So, Miss Meany, what do you have to say about that? God, are you okay? As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at the time. Do you honestly think she should have noticed noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. I mean, yeah, if you're like, I'm with the murderer covered in blood, there's a child there, maybe the child shouldn't see that. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. Also, you would have seen the child totally desecrate grandma's ashes. <laughs> what sort of foolish? There is no way someone walking along the winding way could have, could have noticed Pearl. You sure about that? What about dead grandma? This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot? What's going- what is that gonna prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it, that's why. She broke the urn. Damn it, Phoenix, you weren't supposed to tell anybody. Yo! Why- why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? Cause I am. This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ugh! And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? Oh yeah, you're fucked now. Miss Meanie. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I have to, I have to declare you legally blind. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Meanie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. Oh, how dare you. And she can whip you? <laughs> the one who needs to watch what she says is the witness. So, Miss Meanie, tell us the truth. B about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. <laughs> Jesus, your keyboard? What happened? <laughs> What'd you do to your keyboard? The witness just testified about that. And that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Yeah, I guess so. There's no way. Impossible. Could you imagine if she pleaded blind? Oh, shit. I mean, yeah, she never opened her eyes. Listen. In, in, in 
Japan, Japan, I don't know what to call it, Japan America, whenever you see someone who got eyes like Gein from Bleach, they're sus, right? Giving you the Brock look. They don't open their eyes. You can't see their soul. You don't know what's going on. You little slide fox motherfuckers. Your lion's here. What are you? The witness says that the witness says that during the actual murder she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where's the contradiction? It is in her testimony just now. It is in the evidence. Help me, Maya. I mean, isn't it in the evidence? Didn't I just prove that? Are you kidding me? Or would it be in her testimony? What? I'm not gonna lie, they literally just confused the shit out of me. <laughs> and I really don't want to get this one wrong. Uh, it's in the evidence. The answer is in the court record. What? what Hmm. Planning to throw out another, uh, irrelevant piece of evidence? Very well, the court will see this evidence. Wait. Mia. I don't know what you plan on showing to the court. But I can guarantee you that the answer's not there. Just this one, I'll lend you a hand now. Rethink your answer. Oh, thank you. All right. Mr. Wright, what is your answer? Okay, time to add another bluff to the pile. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was sleeping in the side room. And I say it's not possible because... Contradiction. What contradiction? In her testimony. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Meany, you made the following statement. And I like, and like Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. S so? Like, what does that, what does that like have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Meany, how did you know that fact? H how? I concede that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could have not known that. <laughs> Which means, Miss Meany, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by, by, uh, by way of the winding way. Damn. Got her. But, look at the manor's guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um... Miss Meany, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off... off uh, don't ask a... Wait, what? Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Baseless assumption? Well, I suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix... Might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Meeny. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Well, first, let me save my game, because you guys are on your shit today. All right. Now then, Mr. Wright, let us hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? When it took place? Well, of course. She was in the channeling chamber. Miss Meany was here? Of course. What? But that's... the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Meany was at the crime was at the scene of the crime. Order. Order. That's... Uh. Mr. Wright, you have lost your mind. Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, that's correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Inimini was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was he hiding? I mean, where was I hiding? Shit. Over here. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen. Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. 
There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind the folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slimeball. Now, now, Miss Meanie. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. I I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen. With the help of this. Oh yeah, I got your number now, bitch. It's over! Miss Meanie. How you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. But that tiny box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproven. A lot of disproof when you <laughs> a lot of disprove when she was hiding from me in it. Hmm. But that clothing box is was in the side room, right? Which means it's nothing to do it has nothing to do with the murder. That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. The clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Do you think you can prove where the Ah, oh, motherfucker. Let me do this. <laughs> Let me do this. Because they're going to get me killed here. <laughs> do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? I mean... Yeah? No? Her animations keep getting more and more evil? I know, I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest, I feel like I can't prove it, but why not? And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove... This clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Yeah. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence on that old thing. Huh? This... what on earth? <sighs> I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole. About eight inches off the ground. Hmm. A hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have I heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. I went through the scene, and then into the box. Hmm. Miss Meanie. You were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Order. Order. Then Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? No, I'm not saying that at, at all. I love when the trial picks up so much. Me too. That's exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Meeny. You were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. To masquerade as Maya Faye? She had to plan it from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No. Stop. I can't stand to listen to this any more foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a, pro a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretend to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime? It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. Correct, it is impossible. For you see, she did not work alone. For one person to do all that preparation, that's... Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish received no mercy. Wait! Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. Miss Meany. You had an accomplice. And that accomplice... was Miss Morgan Fay. This person? If it wasn't someone from Kiran Village, you couldn't have gotten that costume. 
and if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, he would have had the box to use. Morgan Fey? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness who, who we had earlier? What do you have to say for this, Miss Meany? You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Oh, she's about to snap. <laughs> I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in the medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both the women who had their, uh, both whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she couldn't take Maya's so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected. Yes. It seems that Dr. Gray survived his attack. Bang! Dr. Gray was actually not dead yet. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. That is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray, and... Bang! After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Meany, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Not so much. Miss Von Karma, don't you remember what you said earlier? The channeling technique changes one's appearance, which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. She entered her avatar state, as you can see. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there's there are more victims here. What is... What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this. Oh, you simple, you simple-minded fool. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karma? Surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone, someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? Actually, yes, it has happened before. What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is, if this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on the whole act? What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Well, that's, um... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, and one more thing. Why would Miss Eenie Meenie want to kill Dr. Gray? What is her motive? Uh, revenge, of course. Listen, for someone who studied the occult, you can obviously say that she probably had a reading beforehand, right? One could assume that, found the truth about her sister's death, and got revenge for her sister. Or... We can go with the other 
the other's uh, theory that I have in the works right now, which she's actually not any meanie and she's meanie meanie, exacting her revenge for, on the doctor for making her kill her sister or some bullshit. I don't know. Well, she didn't make her kill her sister. Doctor probably tried to kill her, drug the wrong person or something, or maybe driver got distracted. You know, the old switcheroo. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A motive? That, I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is because of this. <laughs> ah, shit. This is a word search? God damn it. Oh, I couldn't skip it in time. Yikes. Eh, it's not that one. I should have just chose her sister. That would have been easier. Would have made more sense. Alright, I get it. I get it. I get it. I was one step ahead. I chose the evidence, not the reason. I get it. Okay, game? I know what I'm doing. Which one did I just save? It was this one. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Alright, motive. Let me see. Article about the car incident. It might be that one, too. But let's just say... Let's just go with this one. Huh. Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? Just great. Not even she called me by my full name. Think you didn't get revenge? You think I did this to get revenge on my sister's death? Yes. Because through the in uh, through that incident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? Well, I mean, you also came out like half dead. What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. I'm, like, going to explain, so, like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She's back to her airhead persona. However, you see... Ow! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You failed to support your own theory. The end. You guys are some piece of work. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Meanie has stated is very true, despite the fact that she's a super liar. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Are you serious? Furthermore, there's no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. That's a lie. We don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to test to dis uh, Wow, to demonstrate your point. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should really learn your place. Uh, what happened? I thought I had her for sure. See? Like, it's just as I told you. Hmm? I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Amy Meany. Damn it. Was that you, Mia? Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculous, messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, the girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And, it's, and it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. Let me save this before they fucking put my nuts in a vice.
If you want to say what you can prove, uh, if you want to say that you can prove Miss Meanie had motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you pro provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Well, if Mia says I can, then surely I can. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can do this now. I will show and I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Meanie had a motive. <laughs> too bad you're too late. My cross examination examination has already ended. After all, interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix. Right? Oh, Von Karma, that will be your downfall. What? You're supposed to be on my side. Avon Karma only cares about a perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey! Wait a second! Ugh, way to save my ass, Von Karma. Jesus. That was, uh... That was pretty good. I, I, I didn't have to use the guide once during that. Nice. That one had a nice, consistent flow to it. June 22nd, 12.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That's terrible. Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as predicted, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Ah, oh, come on, Von Karma. God damn, look at that pose! I, I can't bring myself to hate this lady. Miss Von Karma, why are, you, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? Mm -mm. Looking down on me, even, even though we're the same age. God, they're the same age. Oh, man. <laughs> Life is so unfair, huh, Maya? Jesus. Are you done yet? You caused me, you caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring back, it won't bring your father back. Hmm. Whatever. Does she not care about her father? In the meantime, let's bring this match to a conclusion. Is it like a principle of a namesake? I feel like she doesn't actually care about her father. I feel like she's just like, I want revenge because you made fool of the Von Karma name. Rather than my father. And then we'll know who the real winner is. She's attacking me with JoJo poses. I love it. June 22nd. 12.10 p.m. District Courtroom number two. Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. God damn, I thought I was gonna get like some sort of new evidence. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Eeny Meeny had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Obviously I can't. Eeny Meeny and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Meanie, please testify to the court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask me about a motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Meanie, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think they're, they'll do any good, but... Please testify, lady. Last year's accident. That sounds like a title of a, of, like, a suspenseful horror movie with like teenagers and shit that was like last year in may 
Like something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. Or maybe it was the driver. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, there was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I heard of this accident. It was all, it was all the talk on the tabloid show day after last year. Wait, what? Did, did I read that right? I don't think I read that right. <laughs> yes, and there, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Gah! Those were merely rumors, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Minnie's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Last year's accident. Last Friday night, that song really sucks, but it's stuck inside your head. Now you're gonna be dead. Last Friday night. <laughs> that was like last year, May. Let me uh, let me let me press all this shit. Did some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like that was in May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd, and, like, our accident was, like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired, so that's why. Duh. Yeah, duh. Something really bad happened. That was the malpractice accident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was cause the medicine, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister Mimi Mini? Like, no way! Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. That's a fucking lie if I've ever heard one. Besides, the police reporting has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Mini's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Mini is the one who made the mistake. But like, it really wasn't my sis. It was me. And like the night of the accident, my sis totally tired when she was driving. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and like was being investigated like every day. It was like a total terrible situation. <sighs> it's no wonder then that the car accident happened, huh? So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I, I'm not secretly my sister. I mean, switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. Excuse me? Excuse me? And what? You liar! This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have a license, Miss Meany. Ugh. What? <laughs> Miss Meany, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. Anyways. Wow, that was a... That was a lie and a half. Holy shit. Okay, I totally poop. Fell asleep in the passenger seat. Excuse me. My dad's an Sis is tired while she was driving. <laughs> I don't have a driver's license. I like opened the door and then got away. I like didn't have my license so I couldn't take over driving for her. Uh, what? What are you talking about? Miss Meanie? That was a lame ass lie! You're fucking lame! You're a fucking lame girl, come on. Like, what do you mean? He's like, that was real lame. You're fucking stupid. I know you had a license back then. 
This is the photo you took. The express per uh, the express purpose of getting a license. What's the meaning of this, Miss Meanie? Uh, um, uh, that, that's right. Yeah, I had like a license, but but I didn't get it until after the accident. Oh yeah, when you were hospitalized? Because <laughs> I know I go for my driver's test when I'm hospitalized. No, you hadn't. She said, bro, I wasn't there. I was in Electrico. <laughs> you had it at the time of the incident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? What are you talking about? The perverted freak, uh, fake clinic doctor? A uh, director? Yeah, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you- Ugh! No one cares. Witness, what is your senior driver's license? Like, last November. What? N November? The accident happened last May. There's half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix, right? Okay. What? What in the... That's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Meany didn't... Did not have a license. Wait, what? Oh, uh, huh? And what accident did she get into? Ow! Crying, my whip will accommodate. I'm crying because you hit me with your whip. Anyways, without a license, the witness had her sister... Uh, the witness and her sister could have not switched driver's seats. What? I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would, uh, let me drive. Hmm. Yeah! Don't just stand there, mean <laughs> to yourself. Not you too, Maya. With, with the whip and the pain and the, oh, with the whip and the pain and the jello and the shots and the, oh, and the drugging and the women. <laughs> Bill Cosby. Is it too soon to make a joke that like that? Miss Meany, why do you think that would have uh why do you think you would have not been able to drive? Allowed to drive? Um, that's because I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Meany, if you please. Huh, like how annoying. Oops, like sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. Yeah, Miss Meany eeny meany. I wouldn't be allowed. Like around the time, I was really close to getting my license. My sis was like this total big fan of cars and like really valued them. She like had just gotten this really shiny bright red sports car. She like would say things like, no way I'm letting a noob drive my car. So like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. Hmm. I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars. Me too, Phoenix. I don't know shit about cars. I don't know nothing about cars. Sitting there watching fucking E3 and they show in Forza and they're all like, Man, I fucking love cars! And I'm like, oh, I don't care, man. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. That reminds me, the fucking, uh, the, uh, what's it called, the Game Awards show is, is, uh, later today. So, I'll be watching that, and watch Jeff Keighley get on his knees again for another year in the row. If Final Fantasy don't win any goddamn awards in that shit, I'm gonna be upset. Alright, like, around the time I was getting close to my license... So what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things? I think that's what they're called. Hmm, permit. Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. What? Igno ignorance is, ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So like, may I continue? Sure, go ahead. I'm getting quit, and it hurts. It's gonna leave a bruise. I'm gonna become punished right. She valued cars. How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like she flipped out at like a drop of rain. And like, she would notice if someone touched the car door with dirty hands. 
In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Yeah, straight up. Which is why I never understand. It's like, I bought this super expensive car, got this loud-ass engine, so I can just ride it around the block. <laughs> like, okay? Why does she take such a special care, uh, such special care of her car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. Oh, you sound mad. You sound like you like cars. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would, I would think the car getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Mrs. Meany, what kind of car was it? We need something of more significance. That's pretty significant, I think. It was a new car. Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK. Uh, where the where the, wait were those her boyfriend's initials? Okay. And it was a real special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. Russ Harder. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes. Please have the witness of a pin. A pin what she just said. Uh, a pin what she just said to her statement. You mean the part about being a special imported car? Yes. Hmm. Well, if you like cars that much, then that's not my point. Though, to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Meany, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sis' new car was like a total special model from England. Okay. I yelled, hold it, pretty f I yelled, hold it pretty forcefully, but, uh, I don't actually know what to ask about. I asked for the heck of it. Sure, why not? Um, so yeah, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Like, uh, they're expensive, and their driver's seat is an opposite, as on the opposite, uh, their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. The States. What? Where the fuck does this take place? It would seem there is no benefit to owning a car. Like, uh... This whole steering wheel on the right side thing... It's kinda goofy, isn't it? You... What do you know? It sleeps... Oh god. Oh damn. Alright, you got it. Alright, Chief. Stop. Forgive me. Her personality really changed at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. Yeah, I know, I get it, Mia. I deduced it, like, fucking forever ago. She, like, would say, There's no way I'm getting a dweeb to drive my car. A dweeb. Let's call her dweeb. Okay. <laughs> was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, said she was going to be the, like, racing queen of the nursing world? Somehow I think she bumped my question off track again. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. And that was when the accident occurred, right? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door. And fled, like, in a daze. Hmm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. But we have to attack it. And by doing so, a flaw, a flaw will show itself. It has to. Do you really think so? Believe. There's a there's a path. I know it. Hmm. Mia's, Mia almost sound like a prophet for a second there. Believe, young one. Believe in the way of the force. Okay. She's ready to get her license. Total big fan of cars, really valued them. My sis' new car was like totally special from England. Like says, no way, cars. I ended up in the passenger seat. I mean, <clears throat> it's a it's a stretch, right, to go down this road of thinking. 
but can I like somehow connect the fact that the car is a foreign car and that the and that on our side of the road the passenger seat would be on the flip side and and it wouldn't make sense or something actually let me see let me see what, what do I have on that incident can I like no no I have nothing that like details the incident about like the sides of the car and stuff like that died in a car accident died one year ago okay all right well let's save that I, I clicked it there you go let's save that see what we got all right now First things first, I just want to press this and then press the one where she says she's in the passenger seat. Because they have that weird fucking do shit and order stuff. And I hate it. So I'm going to do this. She's going to go on her tirade. And then I'm going to... Is it in Phoenix bit by Bex? The real contradiction behind this case. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. And then I'm going to press this one. Maybe that would trigger something. That was when the accident occurred, correct? Okay, I immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled in days. Hmm. There's something very big here. Okay. All right, all right, I got it. <clears throat> all right, just making sure. All right, all important badge. A year ago, this is the mistake at the clinic. Oh, I can check this. Okay, hold on, let me check this. Late night, two women crashed on the highway. The side of one of the women were not able to escape. The flames, wreckers died at the site. All investigation revealed that the driver had fell asleep at the wheel. I was totally tired and dropped off sleep. Then there was a crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like half asleep, but I opened the right door. Gotcha, gotcha. See? See? I knew it. I knew it. I knew I can somehow tie something to, like, the fact that the car has a different side, you know. And she came from the right door. Then fucking... It wouldn't add up. Right? The right side would be the passenger side. But if the car's flipped over, the right side would be the driver's side. Did I save this? I think I saved it. Yeah, I definitely saved it. So, we're gonna use this. Gotcha. Miss Meanie, do you remember this article? Hmm? It's an article about the accident. You had said it, uh, you had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course. Basically, the driver is on the left side. That would be if it were an American car. So this does take place in America. All right. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite. The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. <sighs> what do you mean by this? Miss Meanie, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Gotcha. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Order. Order in the court. <sighs> Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Amy said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Meanie. That is what Amy said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in the assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of the murder. If we connect all the dots, there's only one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Amy, or Mimi, who was really driving that night? I would say it was Eni. And the answer is Eni Meanie, of course. 
Why would you say that? Miss Eenie Meenie just said so herself in her testimony. She said that she escaped the car from the right side door, which would have been where the driver's seat was. Ow! I'm inclined to feel sorry for a foolish fool who foolishly spent his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Eenie Meenie had not yet received her driver's license. You're right. Miss Eenie Meenie hasn't, but Miss Meenie Meenie did. And that is why the accident happened. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't see the real truth behind the accident. Yeah, I know, he just confused the shit out of me, Mia. The real truth? Think outside the box. Isn't that what we always say? Alright, one more time. I love how... <laughs> what is Maya here? Can we just take a moment? What the fuck is Maya? Is she like a Jedi? She's like... She's like, if you strike me down, I will become even stronger than you can imagine. And just like Dark Vader killing fucking Ben Kenobi, she's like a force ghost now. She's just always there. Fucking knows everything. If we connect all the dots, there's only one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eenie or me? Wait, what? Did I answer that wrong? I mean, yeah. Fuck, my bad. Yeah. God, I, my mindset was Eeny Meeny was driving because we're talking to Eeny Meeny. Mimi Meeny was dry, driving. And Mimi Meeny escaped. And then she became Eeny Meeny. God damn it. <laughs> the answer is the one person who uh, who has her driver's license, Mimi Meeny. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. What you just said. The witness, Miss Meeny Me Miss Eeny Meeny, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <laughs> What sort, of, what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? This witness name... This witness name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness real name is... Gotcha. Mimi Mimi. That is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? This witness had several facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No. But Mimi Mini, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eenie Meenie. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Meenie? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eenie Meenie. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eenie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Meenie from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see. I'm sure you can see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? Ugh. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to calm back the spirit of the dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Mini. However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Mini was still, in fact, alive. And the fact would have been discovered at the channeling, had the channeling been conducted. So this witness stopped, this witness had to stop that from happening. At all cost. And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. What? Well... 
Miss Eni? I mean, Miss Von Karma? Eh. What did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness? That's right, I admit it. My real name's Meanie Meanie. Hmm. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi too. So close. But, but why? Por qué? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Mini wanted her old self to disappear because she couldn't live with herself. This shit. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Mini. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Mini had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in the incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of the accident. Her sister. And even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of the channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult, I hate it. I hate it all! I believe there's still a few unsolved riddles here, such as... Why did Miss Meanie choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... This is preposterous! I I'm perfect! Me! Francesca Von Karma! Alright, Cell, calm down. Like it's Dragon Ball, he's like, it's Impossible! I am perfection! <laughs> like, alright, calm down, Cell. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's gonna be a broadcast it's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Ow! Damn! Ow! Okay, stop! Jesus! What the hell is your problem? And one more for good luck! Jesus! This is illegal! Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix? Phoenix! This court is fraud, a sham. <laughs> My spirit was broken. Now then. It looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright, re uh, Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. Oh my fucking god. Huh. That's all. The court is adjourned. God damn it. How can she not be held in contempt for that shit? She just went ballistic. June 22nd, 3.13 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Congratulations, Maya. S sis Aw, such a beautiful reunion. It's good to see you, Maya. How you doing? Sis. I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A real bad dream. You know, sis. In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent. I was inside that clothing box, right? That box? 
That was the box you used to store your clothes in, in a long time ago. That's right! Hmm, there's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? Why would, uh, what would have happened if Minnie hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Mini had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lotto would have witnessed, uh, would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. Uh, then banish your fucking aunt. What the hell? That lady's crazy. I'm fine because I have I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special with me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Mini with a plan like that? I just... I don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please. I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Oh, really? I gotta look for it? Would it be this? No. Where is it? Older sister, lawyer, mentor, was arrested on suspicion. Eh. College didn't know. A member, branch family, she's Pearl's mother, prodigy. Probably would have been, I guess Pearl would be the answer, right? I guess Pearl would be the answer for that, because she wants Pearl to take up the next, the next stuff, right? I don't want to be wrong about it. But probably for Pearl. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Curing, uh, the Curing Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And... But if you weren't there, then that means family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The branch of... the branch family, my aunt. No, Morgan. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearl's. Huh? Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was. I think what she's saying. Oh fuck! I can't even read. Damn it! I think that she was saying. I thought so. Date and time. Unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement. Cell 13. My precious Pearl. My precious Pearl. You're the only one who's suitable to be the master of the Kareem, de of Kareem, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped the brainless nurse carry out her murder. And cooperated with the hippie happy pros uh, the hippie happy, the whip happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat the annoying, west witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. She's all evil and wicked, but I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Damn. We got a pretty fucked up family. Turnabout Big Top. I'm liking the name of these of these cases. Turnabout. <laughs> I don't know why the phrase turnabout sounds so good to me. It's like potent. It's like someone backhanding you. Called a turnabout. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonders of flight. Uh, 
Oh, look at this beautiful Pokemon trainer. The world's greatest magician. The one. The only. Maximilian Galactica. Look at this fucking tuxedo mask motherfucker. I can't believe that man flew. That was crazy. December 26, 8, 12 p.m. Uh, Barry's Big Circus, Circus Entrance. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball. Not to mention the guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was ab he was absolutely fantabulous. Yeah, that's right. I said fantabulous. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> what, Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A m magician? No, a magician. Hmm, Mr. Nick. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with channeling spirits. I don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since the terrible incident in Kirin Village, and it was during the trying time that I met Pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it, and is returning to her normal self. Ah, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Girls, you remember the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You, uh, you were going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? M maybe I'm glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly! Look, it's time to go. Happy New Year's, Mr. Nick. Listen. Listen. Pearl has an active imagination she's a child, but there's no fucking way she just got that out of thin air. Maya must have said something. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. If it's anything like last New Year, fucking Edgeworth will be labeled a murderer. December 28th, 9.12 a.m. right in Co Law Office. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello? This is right in Co- Nick! It's terrible! Huh? Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Hmm? My dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick. You have to turn on the TV. The TV. Now let's check it. Uh, now let's check at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at Big uh, Berry Big Circus. The very big circus has become the, the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir amongst the throngs of the excited onlookers. The very... I mean, the very big circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murderer. A murderer? A murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica. That beautiful man, that beautiful man who actually looks more feminine. Like I get it's Japan, but they look really feminine. F fe okay, never mind. Never mind. It's just a really f feminine-looking dude. Have you seen his chest and everything? The facial features is really striking. Jesus, Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Of course she is. He's hot. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> All right, Nick. I see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? 
See you there. Still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? You can't, you can't do this. You can't force me to take fucking... <laughs> you can't force me to take jobs. I feel like I don't even get paid for this shit. December 28th, 11, 19 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest- oh, arrest? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he uses magical skills to deal- uh, to deal death with the sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous! What the young lady said is absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh, God. I guess I'm gonna be defending Diavolo from now on. Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max. Nick, look, it's the real Mac Maximilian Galactica. All right, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He, he called me sweetie. She swoons. Nick. <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. He got it! He got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? I've stolen one of many most valuable possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Well, time to make this absolute time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, he should let Nick pick a card. Uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna steal one of his hearts. And you are? How silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Huh? Driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. First of all, when you're in a detention center, don't they take every item off your person? Whatever, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Mmm, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick... I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop the porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? See, I thought this guy was just gonna be cool, you know, but he's a he's a complete asshole. Okay. We're dealing with this. Alright. Okay. Look, and we're dealing with the Fukuyama here. Man, will anyone get the reference if I call them Fukuyama? Probably not. Probably not. It's niche. Oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe-inducing. All right, what the hell do you want? First of all, if you think that's fabulous... Oh, shit. You should check this out. Huzzah! What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over... over-anxious, I think. Oh, <laughs> you made her sad. Damn. All right. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little about yourself. Fabulous. I think we should get to know each other better, too. I think you shouldn't. Why do you come sit next to me? Uh, first of all, no. Second of all, you're in a detention center. Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Je Jeebus? Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? Oh, wait, my bad. Phoenix is saying that. 
That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays. They get their panties on the bunch over nothing. Anyways, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I, w I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabulous, uh, fabuloso of the fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Incident? I'm I'm uh, sort of what? So, uh, God, why why am I drawing a blank at that word? Jeez. Um, sort of sort of certainly uh, certainly sort of ah fuck. Whatever. I'm the greatest magician in the world. I'm gonna guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Tell me about the circus. You're signed to an exclusive contract with Big Berry Circus, correct? And that's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch magicians on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes. Oh, you're right. You're so right. However, the circus is a dinosaur. I think of the past. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what's going on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract. Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the ma of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it's just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yeah, sure. I made all the old crusty circuit performers obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. You know what you say, never meet your heroes. Tell me what happened at Big Barry's, uh, at Barry's Big Circus. Ah, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Barry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police pr uh, presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questions you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in this room. So, then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. Anthill? Isn't it molehill? I thought it was molehill. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick? I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back into reality. Hey, jackass. You're a suspect under murder. Before the murder, you met with Ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the Ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? Well, there's a motive. Money. I'm the one bringing the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's all you talked about. Of course. It was a fabulous chat. You're a liar. I can sense it. Just fabulous. I mean, uh, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look in your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max? Quit joking around. You gotta be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needs to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Hmm. Yes. 
But, poor, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Uh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! Didn't kill nobody? I mean, uh, I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane, I, I could never! Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt before- Oh god, he's one of those guys. Mm, I have to pay off my father's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, well, I, I guess, humble beginnings, right? At least, at least he's doing something good with his money. Okay, I'll take- I'll take your case. R really? Really. Uh, thank you much. You sure- you sure are nice folks. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> I shocked him so hard, he went back into country dialect? Nice. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones. Oh, God, I love this. Hey, at least he owns up to being spoiled, right? At least we don't have to deal with that. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country... a country bumpkin? I mean, you're not one to talk, Maya. You live in a fucking spirit tribe. <clears throat> I must apologize for not being my absolute fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney? Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, did you? Hmm? Now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he... He got it right again. What can I say? You too have stolen some of my most valuable possessions. Tens of Maximilian's... Uh, ten of Maximilian's Galacticus hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Of course, I played Zelda. I got every heart piece. <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? <laughs> All right. Let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. All right. Damn. Ugh, I'm be honest. I didn't think I would finish the other trial tonight. I thought I would like be be like cusping it. You know what I mean? All right. So let's move over to the circus. December twenty eighth, Big Berry Circus Circus entrance. We're here again. Yep. But this time, we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what's happened. Sounds like a plan. Let's go look for my good old friend, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. Where you at, buddy? You gotta be somewhere around here. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all performers in the, in the circuit stay. Really? So we might run into the Stoogy Clowns here too? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Hey, there he is, Detective Gumshoe. How's it hanging? Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How's it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. I have to be at the circus, uh, I have to be at the circus anyways. I want to see the lion tamer in the, t in the type rope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, he, he complained. <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now. All right, well, how's it hanging, detective? Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course, it'll be Miss Von Karma, of course. Huh? She's gonna be- she's gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. Oh, wow, yeah, Gumshoe has to see her every day. Oh, <laughs> No. It's both a blessing and a curse. When she shows up at the precinct, the sounds of that wit never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Ms. Von Karma really is interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? 
Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. Did we not fill her in yet? I don't think we filled her in yet. When the world happened after I went back home. Oh yeah, we totally didn't fill her in yet. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does that mean? Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? Damn. Damn! <laughs> that hurts, man. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go, if you ask me, pal. Hmm. I was rather... It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right... Found? Find? Was found right over there. <laughs> right, uh, right around where you are standing right now. Uh? <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Uh, it's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Haha! <laughs> there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Well, what is it, Gumshoe? What was the one thing that doesn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? The wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensic uh, experts took it back and examining it now. And what was so mysterious about the footprints? Well, calm down. Take a look at the footprints in the picture. And they're not his. The victim footprints are on the scene. I thought they weren't his. I mean, maybe someone could be wearing his shoes and dumped his body right there. That's right, pal. Problem is, the killer's footprints aren't there. Oh yeah, there is one set of footprints. Again, unless he was carried and plopped there, right? Bingo. But then that means they would have to carry the box too. So they would have to carry him over the shoulder and also the giant box. Or maybe the box was already there. I don't know. Where'd the killer come from? Where'd the killer run off to? Or maybe he was poisoned and there was no trace of poison. There's some poisons that, that don't leave traces. And then fucking he had a blow to the head earlier. Or maybe he took a blow to the head and he was, uh, he was concussed, but he uh, couldn't stay awake, and he just slumped over and bleh. You know? Where'd the killer come from, and where'd they go? Obviously, there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. Unless it was Maximilian. A flying culprit. That's when something just clicked in my head. There's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> uh, what's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. I'm not your pal guy. <laughs> better, better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Okay. Let's see. Boop. Didn't mean to examine yet. What do I? What am I working with? Crime scene. Okay, I might have to come back. Salmon. This year I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you write your tri your what? Did you write your triceratops to work too? <laughs> what do you mean won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it at the door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter. Let alone peanuts. Damn! 
And they work you like a... They work you... Oh, man. I'm not gonna finish that sentence, because I, I know that some people will get offended. <laughs> this is the only place that the snow has been t uh, touched upon. The murderer was slop sloppily leaving all those prints over there. No. Uh, uh, we're the ones who left the prints. Okay. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell on a spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Yeah, because you're fucking up the crime scene. <laughs> uh, thing... Uh, thank God that we're all in this, uh, wow. Thank God that there was all this snow around bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. Exactly. Okay. The hell's this pole? The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long, so there should have been one, uh, should have been one on at the time of the murder. So he's saying the murder took place at, uh, in the light. How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. I concur. Very strange. Okay. What about this shit? There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey! Watch it, pal. The killer's behind that tarp. Huh? <laughs> gotcha. I was just kidding. Okay. Well, that was surely something that happened. I think that's it for this area, right? It seems like it. All right, well, we'll be back, Gumshoe. We will be back. Back to the entrance I go. Into the Big Top. December 28th, Very Big Circus, Big Top. The circus stage, uh... <clears throat> the circus stage sure doesn't look this small from from out in the audience. Wow, this is where all the perf uh, This is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. It sounds like a lion. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a tiger! He he's coming this way! It's a guy in a costume, isn't it? Nick! You're too young to die! Nick! Stay, stay, heal. Did I really just get attacked by a fucking tiger? Oh my god. I should sue you. I'm still here. I'm not dead. Yet. Nick. Nick, are you okay? <laughs> I scared you, didn't I? What? Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? A uh, Regent. Regent. My bad. I literally just got attacked by a tiger. What's cute about that? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Huh. He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. Oh yeah? I watch Tiger King. I know what's up. You're crazy. And besides, people normally never get to play with the wild tiger, right? You just called it wild. So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I don't agree with shit. I guess. What, what do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Our costume. Uh, your costume, my bet. Huh? It's cute. I want to try it on. The costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really, Maya? Way to stick it to her. Really? You're the best. Wow. The tables have turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Big Berry Circus. I feel like you're the murderer already. I feel like she's the fucking murderer. Okay. My name's Maya Fey. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix, right? Ace Attorney at Law. When you put us... When you put us next... Oh, fuck. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. Nice to meet you. Huh. Likewise. Okay. I would like to present you with something. Check it out. Yeah! What about this? Can you tell me? 
Mm, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expect expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Okay. Well, let me know what's on your mind. Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what? What did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about that. What happened to him? Why do you... Uh, what? Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone here is practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. What do you think? Oh wait, did I read that wrong? I totally, I totally read that wrong. I was playing with Regine, uh, Regent, ah uh, fuck, Regent. Regent, uh, Regent, for some reason I can't say the name flawlessly. Uh, Regent, so, so she was with the Beast. Heh, <laughs> one can say Beauty and the Beast, I guess. That's when the police showed up, when they took me to check out, uh, check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. Okay, well, tell me about yourself, Regina. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so, it has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regin uh, Regine is- ah, uh, fuck. Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent- uh, fuck. Why do I have a hard time saying that word? Fucking Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Is that your brother? Yes, Leon the Lion. Huh? Well, I call him, I'm saying Leon, but it has the accent mark, so I guess Leon. Leon the Lion, Regent, and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died. Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. Oh, shit. He Tiger Kingdom? That's crazy. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. I guess. Okay, well, I guess I'll examine the place then, right? Like this, like this tiger mouth. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I got to admit, that was a pretty cool effort. We're planning for me to start coming out on the line during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I'll ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. I have no clues there. Wow, those lights are huge. I love lights. Oh, I, you love lights. I couldn't tell. I wonder why. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. And that's because everyone knows that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? Of course. I'm sure you make an incredible heroine. R really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about Nick? Uh, what about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Ah, ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, um, okay. It's not... It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. There's, what about this rope? Hey, it's a rope. Probably for type rope walking. That's a bit strange. There aren't any type rope walkers in the show when we saw it. Maybe they used the rope to help him fly. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us, not a single clue. You know I've been meaning to ask you. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? A bloody chainsaw, for instance. Well, it's definitely not one of those here. What about this curtain back here? Nothing? Max Galactica. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means a lot of people can fit in the big... The big top. 
It also means that no one can see how the tricks work. He's right. We can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing. Flying around above that many people is a real rush. And at least that's what Max said. What about this? Uh, we're not gonna look at the Cage of Doom? Okay, well I guess that's everything we can look at in here. Nothing else? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, uh... Present. Sorry, don't want to do this to you, girl, but check it. Oh, never mind. I guess that has nothing to do with anything. Hmm. Alright, well... I'll come and check you later, Regina. Get anything change in the plaza? Nope. Maybe I can get, uh, Max to start speaking. Hey, Max, I got something to show you. Check it. That's... that's the Ringmaster. It's a shame what happened. He was going to be like a father to me. Hmm? The hell does that mean? Alright, well, I don't have much evidence, but maybe I can get him to start talking a bit. Maybe. Let's see. Open your senses. Alright. Meeting with Russell. Last night, you met with Ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. You reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. And that's the truth. The whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate the liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did, that I did something other than negotiate my fee that night? I don't know. Shit. Oh, that's Barry? Damn. Ringmaster. Oh, wow, she is 18. Now that I'm looking at it. Damn. Damn. Huh. I don't know anything. I'm not even gonna try. I totally forgot I can present people to people. Maybe I can get a... Maybe I can get, um, what's we call it? Gumshoe to start talking. Hey, Gumshoe. Tell me about these people. Tell me about Max. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant. But he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't mean, uh, doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made skin- uh, silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Silk hat has been added. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white rose as his signature symbol. Huh, pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. Must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? Tell us about the eyewitness. Yeah, tell me about that. What the hell? Hmm. So about the eyewitness. <laughs> you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention to you, the two, uh, mention you two are barred from entering the lodging house. Ah, oh, goddammit, Gumshoe. Hmm, why is that? Oh, no reason, just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Are you sure about that? I'm just gonna... See you later, Gumshoe. December 28th, lodging house. First floor, Moe's room. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Moe on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. 
My room's probably worse, though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. I guess we'll come back later, then. So, tell me more about, uh... What do you gotta say about Von Karma? You're going down this time, pal. Really, Gumshoe? You're not rooting for me? Come on. You know she whips you, too. Is that right? She's been practicing a thousand cracks a day, pal. Cracks? Wait, you don't mean cracks of the... Yep. <laughs> cracks of the whip. Ugh. Jesus. Can you tell me about the... I've gotten... Okay, most of the performers... It's... Okay. There's certainly strange about her characters. Don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. <laughs> Aww, everyone's sad now. What about Regina? Oh uh, yeah, you can't tell me about Regina. You guys are, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. All right, well. Well, thanks for the help, Gumshoe. <laughs> Back to Big Top. Tell me about your father. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. Uh, wow, I had a lisp there. Went back to his room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Alright, what can you tell me about Max? It's Max! Hey! Where's Max now anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with murder of your father. It's okay, Nick, and I will save him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? Like, like what? The fuck you giggle for? Yeah, what's on your mind? Huh, Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Huh? Um, well... What? Really? She has a crush on Max, doesn't she? And then? Oh my! That's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick! There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P professed their love? Not only that, it was Max. Wow, you got a big mouth. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. Wait, what? Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo. Apparently, he's a, t he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. Regina seemed to be quite the hit with the men in this circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day? Even I want to want to profess my love. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. What the hell? <laughs> the hell is up with this? Wait, hold on, she's 16. Max is what, 21? Eh, give it some years, I guess. Won't be too bad. It's not too bad, I guess. Um, where the fuck am I going? Oh wait, the ringmaster room. Here we go. This was the ringmaster's room. Yes, this room belongs to the victim. By the way, what the hell is that envelope there? Which means there must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, uh, that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. Oh, uh, a poster of Max. I want it, I want it. Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. Forget about the poster. Look at this. This seems interesting. It's a table of guests. Uh, there are some- it's a table for guests. There's some paper scattered on top. Ah, oh, look at this. Max Salary's written on the piece of paper. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks at- 
She looks like she's about to ready. She's there. Yeah. She looks like she's ready. Fuck, I can't read. She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? Uh, that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Okay, that's interesting. Let's also check out this. I don't think Max is on that poster, and if he is on that poster, he's like a little, like a little thing. There's a lot of posters here, do you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be on, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But you didn't even notice that I took one. She already swiped one. <laughs> I miss you, Maya. I missed you so much, stealing shit. I love you. You're, you're, a, you're in a, in, what the fuck is that? I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know what the fuck that word is. Incarriable? Incorriable? Uh, I don't fucking know. You know that? Basically, you're klepto, and you like stealing shit. But that's cool. <laughs> Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at the awards the circles, uh, circles? The circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association mini golf master. Bear belly balloon bounce champ, pet grooming grand prix. Wow, the ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could never imagine. What about his outfit? Oh, hey, look. It's a nice little picture here. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but the desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Okay. You may not know this, but they called this a tailcoat. And they called this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm? What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat's pockets. Huh? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's clothes. Aw, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Because half the time you kind of are. But that's why I love you, Maya. You're supposed to do everything wrong. This is where the ringmaster applies his makeup. It's quite a collection of most understandable colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it's 100% all-natural organic mascara. And this one says it's not enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual. I mean, hey man, even men gotta have nice skin. Make that shit smooth. Who the hell is that? Look at the stars on the poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearance. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine-tingling legal action. Mind-numbing le uh, le what legal uh, legalities? You will say, you will say, wow. Or perhaps, hold it! Don't miss out on the stunning life or death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law, our law, wow, our law firm will sink faster than the Titanic. Oh shit! There's a bunch of stuff in here. God damn. Nick, look at the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guide tour for the circus uh, for the circus history. This is so cool. Seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We can put up pictures of the clients who have been found not guilty. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick? Now you got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I think that's everything in here, actually. Carpet? No. Everything seems like it's been checked. Time to head out. Back to the big top. Actually, let me check the time. Uh, I don't even have that much evidence yet, do I? Shit. Okay. Well. <clears throat> I think... Because I'm running out of time. I think, where the fuck am I going to save this? Actually, let's just save it up here. Oops. I'll just save it up here. Make it easier for me. 
Now, I think is a good time to end off because I am running out of time. <laughs> and we did beat the we did beat the trial. So, we're doing pretty good. I made good progress tonight. I think I made good progress. We didn't get stuck on that trial. I think it was over in I think it was over in like an hour or so. But um let me let me do something real quick. I want to actually check. Oh, I'm going to sound like a fucking loser right now. I'm going to check my schedule so I can fucking... Because I, I forget some things sometimes. Make sure I don't say anything wrong. Just check when the next time I'll be able to hit the streams. So... This is... What the fuck is this, actually? I'm sorry, what the hell? There is a... Okay, yeah, no, 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 I'm right, okay. I got confused for a moment, alright. I thought, I thought, uh, I honestly thought tomorrow, uh, I thought... It's the morning of Thursday, so... Not only that Cyberpunk is out now, which I'll probably... I'm not going to buy it on launch date. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Well, I'll see how things play out. But I'm definitely not going to play it on launch date because everyone's streaming it and shit. Um, also, Game Awards happen at 10 o'clock tonight. That will be fun. I'm not sure if I'll stream that or not. If I do, then I do, I guess. I probably won't. 10 o'clock will probably be a risky time. Be too many distractions happening around me. Um, so... We beat, we beat Parasite Eve tonight, that was great. So that's out the way. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Because now that both Arkham City and Parasite Eve out the way, we have Corpse Party and things that should be done should be, uh, well, things that we should be doing next is Corpse Party and, um, and Folklore. I really wanna finish Folklore. But here's how I'm gonna work it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do more Phoenix Wright tomorrow. Uh, well, not tomorrow, next stream, on the next scheduled time, so, like, so it'll be, like, you know, uh, 2 a.m. Eastern, uh, 2 a.m. Eastern, um, 11 p.m., uh, PTSD, um, did I say PTSD? <laughs> PST, and, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do more Phoenix Wright, mainly because, mainly because if I do Folklore, probably say we'll probably be finished with folklore in like two streams or something because we have two chapters left in the game it seems and then for corpse party i honestly don't know when the fuck i'm gonna start tackling that again hopefully sometime next week i'll probably i'll probably give a night for corpse party i'll do that i see why i don't see why not i actually want to continue that game and yeah so next stream will be more phoenix right gonna focus on that see how far we get and then after that, well, I'll, I'll tell more of the schedule after that, but for right now, for everyone who came out to see Phoenix Wright, for those watching live, and for those watching the VODs on Twitch, thank you very much. You're, you guys really help out with the stream, and I'm very appreciative for it. For those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I know you guys get to see this later, but if you want to see it, if you want to see it not like a week or two later, Please watch it live, um, if you can, or hell, even just, then just check the VODs out on Twitch, because they're there for like a week. Fucking editing this shit takes time. I, I got a lot of shit on my schedule, and things are going to change in the future. But, that's it for now. If you are watching this and are not subscribed, think about it. Uh, and if you are subscribed, then click the notification bell, it helps out a lot. And I think that's it. Uh, you know, like, comment, all that good jazz. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.